excited because I was always told that I was eating salmonella or whatever it was <laughs> when I was out making cookies and I'd lick the spoon dry. See, I never liked the cookie dough. Loved it. Yeah. No, I think Bouncing it's something with the, the texture. It's very heavy. It's like a paste. Yeah. I would do it every time and then say, oh, mom, my stomach hurts. But Marisol, you're helping us out. It's a rite of passage to lick the bowl, especially if right? you're making chocolate chip cookies. So, you know, I can tell you how many times, or I'll ask, how many times have you eaten cookie dough before you put it in the oven? We all agree. Two of us do, two of us don't. You're not supposed to. The whole salmonella thing, it's a whole situation. However... This morning, we are going to do a co edible cookie dough that you can enjoy safely. And the recipe is in Danny CEO's new cookbook, Naturally Delicious Desserts. And we just happen to have Danny joining us today. Hello, Danny. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Happy Friday. Happy so Friday. <laughs> ben has played Mark Anthony for us in La India, so I already know this is going to be a fantastic segment. Um, I have. <laughs> I have gone through the recipe in my head, so I'm ready to do it. But before we get into the, the you know, the sifting and all that business, edible maple and chocolate chip cookie dough, it's plant-based. How do we know that this is safe to eat? Because this whole thing is plant-based, which I actually love, by the way. It is totally plant-based. It's also gluten-free. But the key thing about raw cookie dough, guys, is that we all know that raw eggs and raw flour, you should never eat that because those can harbor harmful germs, bacteria. It can actually cause uh, food poisoning if you Oof. eat them. But we all know also that raw cookie dough is delicious. So I wanted to come up with a recipe that tastes like raw cookie dough and you can eat it as is. But also I love to mix this recipe with ice cream. So you have raw cookie dough vanilla ice cream too. I, you are singing my heart's praises almost the way Mark Anthony is right now. <laughs> so can we please get to it? I have almond flour, oat flour, salt, the whole bit. So let's, I'm gonna make it along with you. It's, it's so simple and it's such a kid friendly thing that you can make. And so what you wanna do is start with just two cups of almond flour. If you have a nut allergy, obviously you can't use almond flour. So what you would do is two cups of oat flour instead. Okay. In addition to the two cups of almond flour, you're gonna do a cup of oat flour. So again, nut allergy, just do three cups of the flour. What I love about these flours, they're gluten-free and also um, you don't have to bake them. So they're safe to eat if it's raw. By the way, if you wanna make your own almond flour at home, it's one for one. So you can just okay. take slivered almonds in your blender or food processor, blend it up and you got instant almond flour too. Okay, um, well that seems, salt. that feels like the advanced placement version of this cooking, so I'm just gonna buy it because I don't have the bandwidth <laughs> to make my own almond. Um, in, the, in the cookbook you say sift, but I'm cheating and I'm just whisking, is that okay? Do I still get an A in your class? You don't even have to do that. A whisk is fine. I'm just using a regular spatula. This is such a kid-friendly thing to make at home because you don't have to turn on the oven. There's no knives. There's nothing okay. dangerous. And also, it's a very forgiving recipe. So if you are missing something or want to add something else, if you don't have chocolate chips, you just have candy, maybe leftover from Halloween that's coming up, you oh can just gosh. throw it in this recipe. I, I'm going to be a hit it's with really my two easy. boys tonight. OK, what's next? I've got the flowers together, the dry ingredients. What happens next? Now it's on to our wet ingredients. So what we have in here is we have our almond butter. Now, if you can't have almond butter, you can replace it with sunflower butter, which is a nut-free alternative too. I like um, that. Can you tell, by the way, that a lot of people ask me about nut-free recipes? That's why I'm like. I, n I never would have guessed. <laughs> never in a million years. Dan, uh, so we I don't have an cup. extra bowl, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna make a well in the middle of this. Oh, do that, yeah, like you're making pasta. That's a great idea. Do you know what I'm saying? So we've got a quarter cup of this and we're gonna do half a cup of maple syrup. Okay. And you're gonna mix them together. Fine. And this is like our liquid. And when you mix them all together, it kind of blends it up because sometimes like almond butter or kind of butter can be kind of clumpy, but you wanna yeah. make sure it's nice and smooth. I was just gonna ask, does it matter if it's the chunky kind? since this is, you know. No, it, it, it's really just a taste preference. Whatever you have on hand. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. I happen to and like chunky. all you have to do is mix it together. That's it? That's Did you... it. You know, Wait. you can use your hands. I, I didn't put a dash of salt. This. I'm putting a dash of salt right now. Oh, Mana? That's a, Mana? That's a healthy amount of salt. You know what, Danny? <laughs> Don't get encouraged by these I'm just jokers saying, I work was, with. They're rascals. Sodium intake, just, I just reached it for the day. You know what? <laughs> you didn't ask. Uh, by the way, um, your cookbook is really pretty. It is. Um, Thank because you. I think we it's have, important have to have something. Team. 
Um, I'm gonna, I'm just, my hands have been washed. You can ask our stage managers. I washed my hands before I did all this business. So I'm getting, I'm just gonna get in here. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how get you dirty. Home. Do it. When do I add the chips? You there Thanks, you go. babe. That's right, Danny. So you get in there, you can, doesn't it start to feel like a, a raw It feels like dough a proper kind of dough, yes. And how and much? And you wanna take your chocolate chips. Fine. Mm. How much, how corn. much? Danny? I've, got about, I've got a cup of chocolate chips here. Oh, wow. I love it. Look at that this. was, that was, look at this is, <gasps> Danny, we have that twin chocolate chip cookie doughs. Wow. Look at that. Okay. It's almost and like I know what it is. Right away as is. I, okay. I have a question. Make little energy balls out of them. I love or it. Or you can, what I love, I really love vanilla ice cream. You throw it in there. It's just like that Ben and Jerry's. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Cream, now, now you're speaking yeah. my language. Love Danny, it, lovey. Now, if you wanted to, mm. you could also bake it, right? If you no. Want <laughs> no, that would become because a cookie. Because it doesn't have any Correct. eggs. It doesn't have anything that's really, it, oh, this I is know. a oh, bone okay. raw cookie dough. Right. You don't want to bake it. If you do bake this, it's just going to become really dry and cold. Oh, I see. And disgusting. See, yeah. he's the well, expert. Tasted we are the neophytes. No, I, I, I like to know those things because I would have been like, oh, you know what? I'll just throw this in the oven too. The rest too. of it, yeah. Um, well, you but Danny, it. thank you. Mm. Danny, Monica, thank you so much. Taste? Really good. I'm going to tell you in a hot thank second, you. I think I put too many chocolate Danny, chips in here. These are all healthier alternatives, right? Healthier-ish. It's much healthier. healthier. It's gluten-free, but it's mm. still there's still sugar in it from the chocolate chips. Yeah. But if you notice, we didn't add any refined, no refined. sugar. It was yeah. the maple there's syrup. It's the sweetener in there. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. All right, it I'm doesn't gonna... taste healthy. Oh, that's what I. That's what I'm that's talking about. That's the key question, right? Uh, yeah, not tasting yeah. healthy is key. I'm gonna make a little. Smidge. I'm so happy you're on the receiving end of all the the madness. Ooh, how is it? I mean, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's better than what we yeah. tasted yesterday. <laughs> Can you get Danny, a we had Rocky Mountain oysters yesterday. You missed it, man. Can you get a spoon and oh. have, give it to somebody to bring over here? I will get a spoon for you. Can I give it to you on a ladle? Can you give me a, a back rub? Oh my God, look at you go, I man. Right. I mean, I am a good catch. You are. Is all I have to say. That neuroscientist, man. I just wow. don't. Right. I just don't do um, windows. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> tight shot. the only that. thing I don't do. I'm going to get you all some stuff. Danny, always a pleasure. Can't wait to see you in person. Mm. Go get his cookbook. What is it called? Naturally Delicious, of course. I love it.